subtract two-thirds minus one-fifth and simplify your answer. Well, the key here is that when you're subtracting two fractions, just like when you're adding two fractions, we need common denominators, or these denominators need to be the same. And there's two different ways that we can solve this, and I'm going to show both of them to you here today. So the first solution is going to be to find a common multiple, and that will become our common denominator. So we need to look at look at multiples multiples of each of our denominators. So first we'll look at multiples of three, and then we'll look at multiples of five. So I'm looking at multiples of three. We count by three. So we have three, six, nine. 12, 15, 18, and so on. And if you don't know how far to go, it's usually a good idea to go about five or six uh, multiples out and then move on to your next multiple and see if you have a match. So now looking at multiples of five, we have five, 10, 15, 20, and I can stop because I notice that the 15s appear in both multiples of 3 and 5. And that's a good thing. That actually becomes our common multiple. And since it's the smallest one that we found, or the, the earliest we found, that's actually going to be our least common multiple, or LCM, which also is our least common denominator. Our least common multiple is our least common denominator, and it's 15. So we have our least common denominator is 15. So what that means is, if we go back to our original fractions, we have 2 thirds minus, excuse me, 1 fifth. And we want to rewrite those as in terms of our new least common multiple because remember we're trying to get the same denominator down below well our new denominator is going to be 15 in both of these cases but in order to get to 15 we had to multiply let's change the color here uh, let's go to light green going from 3 to 15, we had to multiply 3 times 5. So that means we're also going to multiply the numerator by 5. And then going from 5 to 15, we multiplied by 3. So that means we need to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. So now we have 2 times 5 is 10 over 15 minus 1 times 3 is 3 over 15. Now we have the same denominators in both fractions, so we can subtract just as we did in our previous tutorial with subtracting two fractions with like denominators. We merely subtract the numerators and put that over our common denominator, which is 15. Well, 10 minus 3 is 7 over 15. We can't reduce that any further because there are no common factors in the numerator and denominator, so we're done. Now, we can do this, as I said, in a slightly different manner. We can approach this, and my students actually like this method better. Uh, it's more popular. I think because it's it's probably more straightforward. It's like a formula. And it's very similar to the formula that we used in addition of two fractions with unlike denominators. So let's say we have a fraction A over B minus another fraction C over D. And the way we do this is crisscross multiply. A times D a times d. Now it's a minus. 
since we're subtracting, minus b times c, b times c, all over b times d. And this is our formula when we're subtracting two fractions with unlike and we could use this for like denominators, but it's extra work. But for two fractions, subtracting two fractions with unlike denominators, we can use this formula. So going back to our original fractions, we have two-thirds minus one-fifth equals, and now we do our crisscross multiplying, two times five which is our a times d, 2 times 5, minus, since we're subtracting, 3 times 1, all over 3 times 5. And so that leaves us with, let's change this to red, 2 times 5 is 10, minus 3 times 1 is 3, divided by 3 times 5 is 15. So now we just subtract. 10 minus 3 is 7 over 15, and we have a match. Our two answers actually match here. So you can use whichever solution you prefer, or if your teacher asks you for one or the other, you should probably use your teacher's approach. But I just wanted to show you both so you were prepared in case you had the option of going one way or the other. I hope this helps with your subtraction of two fractions with unlike denominators. Look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.